everybody it's me absolutely me and we are back again with another banger Oshie come on baddest guys I'm so excited because today I'm sharing part of my secrets with you it's it's no longer a secret now because I'm going to be sharing it with you guys but it is a secret <laughs> I'm just kidding guys it's not a secret but just the fact that not everybody do know and if I tell people that I, that I that I do enjoy watching this kind of series they'll be like what wow you oh <laughs> like I get different reaction every time especially at work but so I decided today that I'm going to share my secret with you guys like I said I'm always and the secret is drum roll I love Asian movies guys especially K dramas like oh my god I don't know I'm how, how many have I watched now like it's been I, I've watched quite a lot and I've really been into um K dramas since it's been like five years now and not only their dramas also their music is just Ugh, it just gets me so many times and I even got my my parents to start watching it which they are even even much more obsessed than me right now <laughs> but it's good it's all good because we got to watch it together have our own family time and stuff like that which is amazing so as for today's video I'm going to be giving you 10 top 10 Asian movies, K dramas, movies, Chinese movie you need to go and watch not even movie technically it's called series um they are all going to be on Netflix, so please, if you have, go and check it out on Netflix. And um, I can also cite you guys with um, with this site that is really, really good. It's called Drama Cool. I can I'll put the link down below in the description box, and so you guys could click the link and you can search in any any Asian movies you want to watch for free instead of going to Netflix not that I'm trying to downgrade Netflix because I watch all my Asian movies now on Netflix now that I know that Netflix also have like um, K-dramas and all those stuff so I watch it now on Netflix so but for you guys who are in school or anything else and you want to watch K-drama and you're, you, you, you're feeling my vibe and you and you you watch the end of this video you'll be like oh I want to really watch this series I will help you don't worry I'll leave the link down in the description box below so you can watch any K dramas you want for free and the name of the app is called um, drama Cool. you just need to go on Google search it up and that's it okay um what was I saying again yeah but before we get right into this video please 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 turn on your post notification bell don't forget to subscribe support your girl we're trying to get to 1000k okay <laughs> we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers and i know we can do it i know we can do it i know i can do it i know we can do it together because you know what we are family and we are together and we are one okay period and don't forget to also like this um video if you really do enjoy it and if you like content like this about sharing the kind of series that i watch gay drama series let me know these are just the top 10 that i have watched that i really really love and i know that a lot of people out there will also really love to watch it as well okay so let's just get right into this video so the first ever K drama i would refer for you guys to watch is called um love in the moonlight which technically is about it's not all about love because you it was people 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 are always like this to me like um love you love watching romance movies and stuff like that I'm like, it's not about love because inside inside the drama inside the series you get action you get um comedy you get everything inside the series it's not literally about romance you get what i mean the, the um the name of the movie movie might be about romance but it's not literally about romance you you end up watching the series and you see that it's all action and you only get one time um you only get um someone into a girl into a boy like it's not it's not rare but um i would say you, you guys should check out love in the moonlight let me just give it a, a quick description of what it's all about it's about a young jason woman who's um lived her whole life as a man ends up 
as an enoch in the royal palace where she begins to bond with the crown prince guys this one is, 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 oh my God. I don't want to be a spoiler for you. I'm going to try and see if I can insert um, the adverts. So guys, the next K-drama I'm going to definitely recommend is called uh, Goblin. Um, but the thing is that I'm trying to look for it in, on Netflix today, actually. But I couldn't find it. I don't know if, if because they took took it off or anything. But the uh, website I told you about is definitely going to be in the description box below. Then you can be able to get your hands on the on this series. It's called um, Guardian, The Lonely and Great God. But um, I know I knew it as um, Goblin. So it's really, really good. It's about um, The Lonely and Great God. It's a South Korean television series. And... Um, which is really really interesting guys you you see lot you see lot of power struggle like it's just so down to earth like i think this is one of my best ever korean movies of all time the third one i would recommend is cinderella and the four nights oh my god i just watched this recently and i fall in love so w once i saw i knew about this series for a very long time but i thought that oh it's a girl that's gonna that's gonna be in a relationship with all the four guys actually no like i thought like i was saying before like no not all titles um describes what the drama is going to be about basically so you just have to watch the drama to check it out yourself and i'm glad that i literally watched the drama because I was literally avoiding this drama totally because I thought it was going to be fully punched about um, this guy, all of them dating each other like, no, 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 I don't play them games so is this um, gay drama is about, catch, um, is about uh, catching the eye of a wealthy gentleman sp uh, spunky, high one, gets hired to live with his three immature grandsons so she can whip them into shape guys the thing i i love watching k dramas not only for entertainment but also to learn as well because you can learn some things one or two things from any series any movies that you watch that's why um i've even got to tell myself that oh this is this is what to do this is not what to do true k dramas as well so like through Asian dramas in general so it's been really been educative for me or I don't know about you but for me it's been really been educative the fourth one I would recommend for you guys to watch is memories of the Alhambra that one is really good it says it's about um while working for this cryptic creator of an innovative argumentated reality game an investment firm executive meets a woman who runs a hostel in Spain guys this one is 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 quite deep it's quite deep the next one will be the empress key guys let me give you an heads up this one has lots of episodes in it okay i think it does i think it has up to like 50 something episodes but don't worry i don't know if i can remember but if if i do i'll leave the number here but don't worry guys it's 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 there's lots of drama lots of power struggle and you will get to love it it's about a woman born in korea navigates her way through love war politics national loyalties to become a powerful empress in china in china's yon dynasty so this is one of the drama um Chinese K, um, Chinese K drama. <laughs> Look at me, Chinese drama that I also love. Chinese drama series that I also love to watch as well. It's it's one of the top one on my list that I've. Oh my God, guys, you need to check it out. Um, the next one is External Love, which is a Chinese um television series as well. Um, it's about when a dieties Bei Quan and your whole fun love it is a romance of epic proportions that stands the test of three lifetimes so i could say this one definitely is about love but you still get like i said you can still get um comedy actions everything in it okay next one is um 
the princess why young oh my god guys i just finished watching this series recently i think this series also has like 50 something episodes if i'm not doubting i'll just leave it here and i really did enjoy this series it's about why october june is caught in a um uh no this is just showing me another thing but the princess of uh, the princess why young is about um a girl um a, a princess who lived with her mother no her father and um a grandmother she's a she's a princess and someone they someone suddenly came like it's just lots of drama like a guy from another village came to attack it's just came to attack her family members so basically she, she just wanted to get revenge for her for her grandmother and her father for um for for them being killed and she met lots of people so the various people she met around her that that get close to her they all end up dying at some point and which was really really sad and until she met one lawyer man that literally did help her even at that part even when he helped her it was literally a trouble for her guys but just check it out like next one is um the king external monarch <sighs> i can say this is one of my babies out of all the top 10 because one that once i watched the king i didn't understood i didn't understand not even understood understand what the drama was going to be about i was like i had to watch this series twice actually i had to watch it twice at the beginning i was like the entire series so not not one episode the entire series twice um at the beginning i was a bit confused at come with this series and don't worry don't be confused at come because you will really enjoy it just keep watching it and um it's just you be moving time and space and stuff like that but it's about a modern day korean emperor passes through a mysterious portal and into a parallel world where he encounters a feisty police detective which was drama full okay um the next one is crash landing on you um <laughs> Um, I really do love this drama as well. Crash Landing on You is a para gliding mishop drops a South Korean heiress in North Korea and into the life of an army officer <laughs> who decides it will help her hide. You want to know more? Hmm? Are you curious? Go and watch it. <laughs> the next one is Inheritors. I've watched this like I think in 2015 or 2014 which this was really really interesting i and actually watched it like two months or three months ago um yes i think it's three months ago i rewatched it like i said i introduced my family to korean movies so like this was one one of the series that they were watching and i had to watch with them as well so it's about after a chance encounter in la two teens from different school background reunite at an exclusive high school attend by korea's Cooper Rich. This series is really sad actually. It's about a girl, a poor girl and a rich guy. Like it's really really sad and her mom is unable to talk. It's just really really sad. Just watch it guys. Watch it. That's all for all my top favorite Asian movies. Both Korean and Chinese movies and please go and check it out. You will not regret it. I promise okay and if you have any Asian movies that you believe that I will be interested in watching leave your comment down below I'll definitely check them out in my spare time because now that I'm on holiday guys I am cracking on my movies okay um but yeah please 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 guys like i said don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and turn on your post notification bell and i will catch you guys on my next video see you later peace